Okay, so big release today. Quinn released QWQ 32B. It's not the preview, it's the real one. And if you look, they really are claiming. Look at this 32B model beating DeepSeek R1. I don't know which quant of R1 they're using. I've been using the Unsloth Dynamic quant, the 2.51 bits per weight, UD Q2KXL. But, uh,. It's really slow on this computer because it really doesn't fit in memory. So if this is real, that's interesting. So if we take a look, uh, I just grabbed uh, this particular quant by Bar Bartoski, Bartowski that I like to use. Some people are complaining that it's not working. Something wrong. But uh, I have it running in Llama CPP using the parameters roughly specified by what Quinn is saying. If you look down here, they tell you the guidelines. Some people are having problems with the thinking. That was true in R1 also. I never had any problems with it. Um, there's a force think type thing in K transformers, but this is not for K transformers. This is a dense model, not an MOE. So anyway, all I did was set the temp and uh, top P. I didn't even bother changing top K. I don't even know what it defaults to, like 40 something? Don't know. And I did not use any system prompt at all. So for whatever that's worth. I don't even send a blank system prompt. So let's just try it out. Here we go. Uh, all, I'm offloading everything, 32K context, flash attention is enabled, which allows us to quantize the cache at uh, 8 bits, Q80. And so let's start it up locally. Great, and I have a little chat app called dchat, deep chat. So if you say, uh, Right, flappy bird in Python. There it goes. So this client is using light LLM, which is connecting locally here to this local host. And now do keep in mind, it'll think for a while. Because, you know, writing flappy bird's a fairly complex task, but one shot flappy bird. And my client here is using Enlighten, which is a Python in curses like framework with uh, status bars. So it'll actually query dynamically and tell you the model loaded. I need to figure out a way to name these models a bit better. Uh, this tokens per second is calculated on the client side. It's not really accurate. I'm using the tokenizer from R1, uh, DeepSeek R1, which is a little bit different than the tokenizer for QWQ. So this number is not quite right, but it's representative. It's close. You can see the token counts flying up. This is iteration, it's in generation. So it's still thinking. Uh, I just ran this once already to confirm it's working. I'm pretty impressed so far. I've been able to refactor some Python apps that, and uh, the compile or that they run immediately. I didn't have to fix anything. I don't know the quality exactly. I've also been using it for translating th some things. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I've been using it to communicate with developers and over here on K Transformers, and it seems okay for that. I don't know if the translations are quite as good, so I just write it in English and say, "Please translate to technical Mandarin Chinese." And so I'm hoping some of those folks will confirm how good QWQ 32B is at translating. So I, I've been using, like I mentioned, R1 here. So I have the translation in R1 and the translation for QWQ. It looks comparable. I really can't tell, honestly. Um, but it's still going. We're up to 4K tokens. Last time it thought for about 6K tokens, and then it spit out the code. Ran it. It seems to work. So I'll see if this one comes out any different. And we can compare the two. And then I'll get back to these folks who are claiming they're having some problems. Oh yeah, I was like, good job. Good job, Quinn. It's kind of nice to write in their native language. Okay. This is good. i got to let the level 1 text people know. They've got a good thread going over here. Alright, so... Where am I even at? I think we're in... We're in the Bartowski. Bartowski. Imrodemacher's pretty good. Bartowski's really my go-to. 
<clears throat> I got started in this long ago during the bloke era, but the bloke disappeared pretty quick after I got into this. Alright, come on, I gotta stop yapping. Let's finish this up. And you can also check NVIDIA SMI. Well, I mean, I'll do it over here. Whatever, I've already wrecked it. If you look at the output, we're getting... It's filled up most of my VRAM. I'm using 99% old GPU. And uh, I didn't... I'm running at 450 watts. I didn't cap the power. So, here we go. So, just copy paste this out. I love that this prints the standard out. I love... Enlightened's very nice little app. Python, uh, here we go. So if I do uh, invent, whoops, and then uh, flappy test.py, I'm not even gonna lint it. Let's just run it. Python flappy test. Oh, bird.png. What's it say? Create a folder. It gave me instructions. I did install Pygame already. Create a folder with the following assets, bird.png, pipe.png. Are you kidding? There we got it. Flat, Python, flappy.test. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. It, what? Let's try that one more time. Press space to start. Okay. Yeah, well, thanks, Quinn. That's pretty good. <laughs> Floppy bird. Oh, you have to like tap it. This is weird. The first one it wrote was a little easier. Python flap. So this was the first one it wrote, which actually at least works. Yeah, it's. I'm not very good at it though. Come on. Get there. Oh, we're, oh, okay. Well, there you go. I guess it works. I haven't compared it against uh, R1 because R1 is much slower. I can barely run it at three and a half tokens per second. Eats up my SSD, my NVMe. It's a Gen 5. But that's all I got. Good luck, everybody.